It is a pleasure and a personal honor to introduce Diane Stye this evening and welcome her to the 2016 Legends Class of the Texas Business Hall of Fame. My wife Gail and I met Diane and Harlan during an around the world tour on the Concord in 1997. Since then, we have enjoyed time with them in Fredericksburg and at events in Houston and around the state. Very few people possess the variety of qualities that Diane does. Her leadership skills and the manner in which she deals with and cares about people are highly unique. She also possesses a business mind that has repeatedly been described as brilliant. The proof of that is her co-founding and the success of Owen Healthcare and the founding of Manzevelt Investments. The thing that impressed me about Diane 20 years ago and still does is her fullness of character. There's nothing about her that doesn't exude integrity. Once you've met Diane, you know you've met a dynamic and very special human being. She can easily be defined by the value she places on sharing her assets and the support of countless initiatives through the Diane Graves Owen Foundation. Diane is an all-around Texas businesswoman, and I admire her very much. You will hear more tonight about Diane's exceptional accomplishments and her contributions that have made a lasting impression in our Lone Star State. I simply want to add that as Diane joins a distinguished list of Texas legends, including nine other outstanding Texas women, we can all be very proud and honored that Diane is now part of the Texas Business Hall of Fame. How hospitals manage pharmacy and materials management was revolutionized when Owen Healthcare perfected and outsourced the process. But it wasn't easy. We had a terrific product. What we were selling, every hospital in the United States needed at that time key to Owen's success was outstanding personnel. Life is really tuition. You learn a lot more from adversity than you do from success. And it's all about making decisions. One thing that was very important to me, along with developing the people of Owen Healthcare, I wanted them to know that they weren't there counting pills. They were healing people. I think work has to have a higher purpose. Diane Stye learned early on that it begins and ends with positive relationships. I was born and reared in West Texas. My father worked in what we called the oil patch and had a great upbringing because I had a lot of freedom. I think that's where I learned a lot of my independence. My first job as a, a teenager, 14 years old, was as a cashier at an automobile dealership. Well, it was the Cadillac dealership. So I met so many significant members of the, uh, the business leadership in Midland, Texas. When Gino and I married in 1969, he was director of pharmacy at a major hospital in Fort Worth. He had seen so many inefficiencies. So his idea was to get the pharmacists up, out on the floor, part of the medical team, that was the long range goal. We borrowed money to start our first hospital. At the time we had 20 hospitals. Gino was killed in a plane crash. I first met Diane at the uh, Texas Hospital Association Convention in Fort Worth about 1974. Uh, the next time I really got to know her was after Gene's death. She became chairman of the board. I was president of the company and we worked together uh, very closely over the, the next 22 years. Every life, every business, every career has those challenges. The key to getting through them is always relationships. Every time I've had a setback, there's been some kind of positive relationship in my life that has helped me through. She was a very, very quick learner, very fast learner. You could just see the morale and the enthusiasm uh, of all of our employees just by her being in the building. When in doubt, she, she will err on the upside in taking care of her people. When she thinks about cuts, it's, it's never cutting people. That's not the way Diane solves problems. I've always had the attitude that people don't get up in the morning planning to do a bad job. So I like to think that they're there to be better at the end of the day. Her life is two chapters. The first was the 22 years that she built Owen Healthcare from a million dollars to selling it to Cardinal Healthcare for 500 million. 
That's chapter one. Pretty impressive. Giving it away and being a world-class philanthropist is chapter two. Founding Mansfelt Investments ensured a steady flow of resources to the Diane Graves Owen Foundation and the many charities it supports. Like a lot of family offices, because that's what this is, goal number one is capital preservation. Well, quickly we took care of that. We're not afraid to be a one-trick pony. And it just so happens that the trick was oil and gas private equity. Leaving Owen in 1997 and starting Mansfeld Investments led me to evaluate things that were most important to me, which is giving things away. We don't have a mission statement at the Dying Graves Owen Foundation. Whatever is a good cause locally that will help the town, that's where we try to place our bets, put our money, make our grants. My civic involvement in Abilene was very important to me, and I believe that business people must be involved in the growth and well-being of their cities. We have three universities in Abilene. I've invested in all of them. Oh, I think that she believes in giving back. I think she feels like she's been fortunate and that other people have helped her get where she is, and she recognizes that. In 1984, I did the thing I was probably most proud of. I established an ESOP for my employees. Therefore, instead of me owning all the shares, they now could share in the company they had built. That scripture, to, to whom much is given, much is required, that's Diane. And I don't think she can wake up a day and not act on that. Diane's instincts have always been focused on others. For her, the pride is not in the dollars earned, but in the lives touched. I have tremendous pride in the people Owen Healthcare developed over many years. I also have great pride in the charities we've been able to support. That has made a difference. I've never known anyone that was almost just 100% intuitively correct every time she sizes something up. Diane probably grew more as an individual than anybody I've ever met in my life. And she just grew and grew and grew uh, over the years and became quite an outstanding businesswoman. I'd rather have Diane as my boss than no boss at all. It's, it's just that good. When we take on a project, I always see it completed. I can see what it's going to be. Then you fill in the pieces, the people with the abilities to get you there. Then you end up where you knew you would. When you are really smart and you have a golden gut and you have a great sense of humor, you can conquer the world, and she has.